Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, it's time to play the Incubus because I wanted to play something that has great peaking potential at mid-range and as you can see, we are running a good chunk of lasers here on very high hard points, which means we only have to expose ourselves towards that line and that makes our silhouette, our peaking silhouette very, very small and uh, we will most likely not take that much return fire when we are peeking out to deliver a crazy amount of damage today. Now, the build itself looks very straightforward. We have six ear medium lasers. We can shoot at about 440 meters optimal range. We can of course shoot double the range but the damage will drop um, drastically as soon as you get beyond let's say 600 meters because then you will deal less than half damage. However it is um, a distance where most of the fights will happen and um, this mech is nimble enough to reposition quickly to get a better angle on your enemies. We run at 116 kph being fueled by a clan XL engine 200 and the rest as you can see is just heat management. Don't get fooled by the 1.5 out of 2 heat management here. This mech is quite toasty. You need to reposition every now and then to just take a little bit of a cooldown period in order to, you know, keep shooting and uh, keep your heat management at bay. But other than that, it's uh, it's quite fun to play. It's a nice 30 tonner here, the Incubus. It has uh, okay hitboxes and you can... If you are kind of proficient with hit and run, you can do a lot of stuff here. Now, let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games. And as you can see, I'm going down the laser vomit firepower tree. I want that laser duration, of course, because the shorter our burn duration is, the less we have to expose ourselves and the quicker the cooldown will start, which means we can fire more often in a shorter period of time. That's pretty good. On top of that, we got some heat gen so that we are not racking up so much heat when we are firing. And honestly, range is a friend here. Range notes, sometimes I'm taking uh, range notes just because I have to go down here to take the stuff that I want but this time range is actually quite good because that keeps us at a safer distance and uh, we can shoot from cover a bit easier. We are not taking any survivability but I was going for mobility. I wanted to have speed tweak, anchor turn and heart break as well as kinetic burst so that we can quickly make these peaks going in and out and in and out of cover. And also having speed tweak to reposition a bit faster than usual. I really like that here. We are running a light mech and usually for light mechs uh, your survivability comes from mobility. Hashtag not the urban mech. Now we are going for maximum cool run, almost maximum heat containment. There, there is a debate that you can possibly take that, drop some cooldown notes to get the maximum heat containment out of that so you can shoot uh, a little bit more often in, a, in the same period. Not in the same period of time but you know until you really run hot. We have 60% rated approbation which really helps breaking locks quickly and then we got a double cool shot a double artillery build on the auxiliary tree and that's kind of the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that don't forget to leave a rating and to subscribe to the channel if you want more of that and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, the first game of the day we are playing skirmish on the frozen city classic night we gotta go to bravo 4 quickly get some help for our souls and yeah, people are people are already talking. So let's see if we can help out my, my friends there because they have the worst spawn in the game, I would say. It's kind of like really, really bad. Our enemies will be in Charlie 4 in no time and my big guys need to be protected. So let's go ahead and protect the big guys. That's what we're gonna be doing. See, enemy big guys are already there and uh, they bring massive firepower to the table. Let's see if our people can get out of this somehow. We're gonna set up here, here-ish, and see if we can hit somebody. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instantly pulled back there because, uh, wow, that was that was a crazy amount of firepower that's wrecked up on that spot. So, do we want to keep peeking? I don't know if we want to really do that. Not not super high anymore. Also, cool shot because we're gonna be in this fight for a little longer. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, bad, bad, bad shot. We gotta wait for the cooldown before we can engage once more. Let's let's go for those guys here on the right side. Oh, wow. All right, cool. So. Here we go. We now have kind of dominance. Um, I dropped my I dropped my strike way, way, way beyond that. That was not so good. There are some people though that we can shoot. So 500 meters is okay. We also took a gauss to the knee. Ow! Wow, I was a mech warrior like you, and then you know what happened. Um, okay, let us let us shoot again. It doesn't matter what we shoot right now um, because uh, we are cold and we should be shooting when we are cold. So, here we go. Now, racking up a bit of heat, repositioning, cooling down, finding another good target, and then we're gonna go in once more. There's a Kodiak. Is he coming out? I should be shooting again, guys, because, again, Cold Mac is good mech, but Cold Mac does no damage. That's a bad flank. You know what? I'm gonna try to drop my Arty Strike on them. Ooh, that's a cluster. That's a... What? Uh, I'm kind of stuck. I wanted to back up, and then this... No. 
Who was behind me? Somebody was behind me. I was like, yep, let's go in and then get out again. That was so bad. So, Adi Strike coming down. I'm gonna stay behind this guy. Let's see. Couldn't get the kill, but we blocked him off. So, I do believe that we can get him now. Also, people are behind me. So, we're gonna try to get off of this now. Whee! Seven and two. Looking good. That kill was important. <laughs> wow, our enemies are crumbling. My team did a wonderful job here. Hi! Haha, <laughs> cool shot. Let's keep it up, guys. We are still in the fight. We are not done yet. Taking a side also, or maybe the center even. Very good. Nine and two. One more guy's here. It's a dervish. Let's get him. And down he goes. Ten and two. Man, this make is pretty cool. So we have a we have a ten and two situation. This guy's fighting alone currently against a vapor eagle. So let's give him some help from the high grounds. Ideally, we're gonna stay here and not drop down because we might want to turn around later. All right, so side torso is down, and that's his demise. He's now shutting, and oh, sorry, that was a bit of a that was a bit of a team damage, tiny bits of team damage, I guess 30, 50? <laughs> something like that. Crazy. So my people were very aggressive here and very focused, and that is cool because that is how we win the game. Only four team damage. I am very proud of myself. We got three killing blows. We got seven assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 500 damage done, 100 taken, as well as five components destroyed, and only four team damage. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Grimplexes, and I think we're gonna wait for our big guys to do things before we can actually... Oh, actually, maybe? You know what? No, I think we are fast enough. We are only running 116 kph. However, we are running 116 kph, so let us try something. It is a little bit risky, but maybe we can get things done here and deal some early damage without being caught out by our enemies. So what I'm gonna be doing now is uh, I, I will peek. I will peek towards the Fox S6 area. I wanna use those buildings as my cover spot, and I hope that I am not getting seen by anybody doing what I'm doing here. So let's let's you know set up on a nice upfront position so we can actually deal some damage without hopefully taking too much return fire. People are not here yet. They might be on the other side though. Mm, I've got to watch this spot. It's important because some people actually go to the Golf 7 area and, uh, you know, try to get things done. And I hope that I'm not giving my team the impression that I'm going all in and kind of trying to push all of this. I just want to peek. I want to see. I want to scout. I want to want to take a look around. And we're going to take the low ground here. Just peeking horizontally. Trying to shield off, off from this platform area. Seemingly there is nobody there, though. And we, I mean, we have a bunch of people around, and my people are coming. Shall we go just left side? Just a nice left side push. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, drop artillery here. Just pushing him back a bit. Oh, there's a guy right here next to us. It's a large laser wolvie. Hey, wolvie. How are you? Ooh, yeah. I'm the only one here. My people are going to the center of the map, and that is not good. That is actually a thing that kind of punishes my idea of playing the game. All right. Dealt some damage against the Brawler. Now I know that uh, the Highlander is a crazy Brawler. Highlander 2C, be careful. All right. So, got some damage in. That's nice. That's very nice. Let's get back to our kind of peaking position. There is uh, damage to be dealt, but only a little bit because our Kid Fox was having an idea and uh, I wasn't able to get the full burn on my enemy. That was good, though. Wolverine is about to die, guys. Center Torsa, one shot. Uh, again, artillery strike coming down. Too late, just too late. Oh, artillery in our position, so we gotta reposition. Um, my arty strike is doing something. That's nice. That's always good. Let's see if I can get an angle on. It's a, it's a gargoyle. How dangerous is he? I think he's very. Um, okay, I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, how much um, how much pressure can we apply from here? That's also a nice question. I think we can apply a lot of pressure because we got that. That's uh, the heavy laser gargoyle and he is about to push up again. So we're gonna wait for him. Actually, you know what? We're gonna shoot him. So we try to go for the side torso so we might uh, rip a uh, laser rack apart and we did. So his heat management is also quite crippled now. And yeah, he can try but he won't succeed. Cool. So, cool shot is down. And that's a kill. That was important. All right, on the dire wolf now. Golf. Let's see if that helps. Ooh, big hit on my side torso. Wow, didn't expect that. Couldn't back up quickly enough, and uh, got punished for it. But we now have momentum, and that momentum is going to be very good. Corsair, please. 
Foxtrot. Okay, we're gonna stay in the safety of the team. And no, we need to cool down, I think. But yeah, we got momentum going, which is great. Corsair is about to die, and that's what we need here. Um, Alright, stay behind the team. That's what we need. It's behind or on the flank. Let's try to get something done there. Man, my left side throws. I don't, I don't feel comfortable, honestly. So, yeah, there is lots of, lots of attention on this flank. LB2 Annihilator. Yeah, he could easily get me. Speaking of... Didn't expect him to, but, um, you know, I just said it. I thought he was uh, attracted by somebody else, but okay. So we still have three lasers. Let's get something done with them. Annihilator is getting pushed down, so I can just go for somebody else already. Uh, that's unfortunate. I was losing a lot, a lot of damage output here. And a lot of heat management. Come on. Oh, the legs. Did you see that? What's, uh, what's going on up on the high ground, huh? <laughs> Not much, honestly. So yeah, um, we gotta get the high ground again. At the same time, this is kind of in the back, I would say. So, here we are. Let's try to just stay in there, in their backs, in their flanks. This Orion, it was an Orion, not a Highlander earlier. Okay, uh, he is, a, again, a crazy brawler guy. Okay. Hi, Mr. Black Knight, why are you not moving? You should really move. It's easy to kill you if you just stay and do nothing. Oh, I could have shot that guy earlier. So, 8 and 2. I think, you know what? We're gonna go all in. We're also getting pushed out. Ah! Wait. You guys don't want to go in? You just stay here? Or what? Hello. Oh yeah, that was a decent laser burn. He's about to die. I mean, this guy definitely is. Let's go for him again. On that side also. On both of them, actually. But you know what? The fight is still on, which is kind of crazy. So... ER PPC Vapor Eagle. I've seen those guys so often recently. It's uh, actually quite insane. Hey, we got the Wolverine in the end. So that's cool. That was a crazy fight, man. We lost the side torso. That was super unfortunate. That one stray shot, or actually maybe aimed shot at my side torso and then the follow up from the Annihilator crippled our damage output quite a lot. But we were able to get 769 damage down anyway. Nice. Got two killing blows, got two kill most damage dealt, 10 assists. We had 128 damage absorbed as well as four components destroyed. Yo, guys, that's our daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.